Hi, this is Alfie Wattam, host of the London Technology Podcast. Uh, today I'm joined by Paolo. Uh, thanks for joining us. Could you start by just telling us a little bit about yourself? Yeah. So, hi, Alfie. So, um, I'm a software development manager at uh, Advanced AI Technology. Uh, I've got a PhD in uh, aerospace engineering. Actually, I moved into IT from aerospace engineering. I always liked a lot, you know, playing around with codes and doing this kind of stuff. And uh, that's how I sort of ended up in this sector. Our company, we develop um, uh, so software for designing uh, high performance turbo machinery. So, it's a bit of a different kind of uh, sector. Uh, uh, compared to you know what's going on nowadays in the in the industry and uh, yeah that's it awesome so you've been in the industry for a, a while you've, you've got a phd you know experience in the software what, what advice would you give to people that are just starting their tech careers uh, for the first time so i look at a lot of kind of my my own experience so uh, since the sort of early days of uh, sort of uh, university, I always enjoyed like programming and doing stuff like that. Uh, I found always like uh, working, you know, all the theoretical thing I was studying at university. You know, I needed to kind of touch it with hand, and so that's why I tried to, you know, to do my code and do simulation and this kind of stuff. So for me, the uh, important thing, most important thing, is that you have a passion for for what you do. And that you really try to um, identify what you like, where, uh, what you would like to do, because this is going to be, you know, the first steps, uh, you know, of, of a career, which you know, it's just the beginning. So it actually you're kind of giving it a direction. So the the most important thing for me is definitely to have that uh, passion, and uh, secondly, is to gain experience. So in in those areas. So nowadays you can, you know, take part to open source projects and doing this kind of stuff, but you can also just write your own code. I mean, you, you know, nowadays with Python, C++ and everything, you've got all the tools to actually really do anything you want. And you, uh, one of the uh, important aspects for me in IT is that uh, you can study as much as you want, but in reality, uh, you need to have that kind of craftsmanship. You need to know how to how to do it. You need to know how to do it. And um, so, actually, when we recruit uh, people, obviously we look at the skills they have, and uh, we look at people that give us the impression that they're kind of smart and they they can learn. Uh, especially in our kind of industry where there's a lot of stuff that is not very conventional, kind of the, the kind of skills that we require. And uh, we look a lot at, uh, you know, what people have tried to do and how much they kind of push themselves. Uh, and then, so you need really, and, and nowadays also with the internet, I mean, there's an amazing amount of uh, information out there. Uh, and uh, one very important aspect is to be able to uh, learn. So uh, to, you know, to go out there and um, find information on the internet, try out, uh, try out things. So yeah, it's, uh, these are my sort of uh, most important things for kind of uh, sort of uh, yeah. for, I think for graduates. Then obviously there's all the kind of uh, aspects of recruitment and, you know, uh, little tip, you know, tricks that uh, you need to to know there. So you need to, you know, when you go for an interview, you need to prepare yourself. You need to uh, know what you should say and what you shouldn't say. Because <laughs> very often, like, uh, you know, people, for example, for graduates, um, you know, all companies would like, for example, to have someone who stays there for a long time. So they, you know, they can train them up, sure. learn the skills. But especially when you're a graduate, you have that desire of trying out, having different experiences. So you're not going to be staying probably, you know, for 10 years in your first job. Yeah. It's going to be shorter. But if you, see, if you go to your interviewer and you tell them that, yeah, maybe that's not <laughs> the best idea. So you, you need to know yeah. what, to, what to say, what not to say. And, um, uh, yeah, so that, that's a very uh, important aspect uh, too, yeah. And uh, yeah, about interviewing, I think the other aspect is also demonstrating that you are interested in the job, that you're excited of what the company does, 
uh, and that you actually mean it. I mean, you shouldn't lie about it. <laughs> but, uh, you know, you should try to, you know, uh, in a way, as they say, you know, follow your dreams. Uh, maybe, you know, it doesn't always happen that you can follow your dream, but at least try to follow it as closely as you can. Yep. I would say. Brilliant. I think that's great advice, Paolo. Thank you so much for, for sharing that. I hope everyone that's watching enjoyed that and, and got something out of it. Uh, so thank you so much for your time and, and thank you to oh, everyone you're watching as well. Yeah, and good, good luck to everyone who's watching then. <laughs>